Hey everybody, this is FTLAK for the Love Alaska, and I just wanted to give you guys my first impressions of the new March Quality of Life beta. Let's actually take a look. And I apologize, but I have dyslexia, so I've got dyslexia font on, which is really cool. It's something you can get for free online. Um, but let's let's check this out. So we've been busy working on a number of things that we've heard people asking for. Hopefully a number of items have been crossed off your wish list. The crafting menu. The crafting menu from using tabs to filters uh, greatly increased the number of recipes that can be viewed without scrolling. Recipes can also be marked favorited, allowing players to customize their own filter and can be pinned for quick crafting while the menu is closed. That's awesome. We have a HUD menu finally. Uh, there, these changes uh, should take should make it a lot easier for other players, especially new players, casual players, and find and discover items, helping them survive the constant. Nice. Uh, we will not be supporting the old crafting menu, and we will move away from that approach. It allows us more freedom in adding craftable items. For example, the tackle receptacle and the terra firma tamper were only added because we did not want to add a dozen recipes into the survival and structure tabs. With this new approach, this will not be an issue. The tackle receptacle and the terra firma never have been changed to research stations like the science machine where you will be able to prototype recipes and learn from them forever. Nice. That's See, that's actually kind of nice. Uh, from reading the responses to the announcement beta post, we've noticed a number of people feeling scared about the new crafting menu. We understand large UI change like this can be scary and often approached with hesitation. We understand how frustrating it is when our d development tools, even our phones change. I love updates, so I'm one of those crazy people. Uh, <laughs> change when new updates comes out, but we would like to encourage everyone to play with the new menu before providing constructive feedback. Yeah, come on, guys. Uh, Wolf game changes, awesome. I know a lot of my Wolfgang friends have wanted some. Uh, hearing your feedback, Wolfgang, or else we've decided to put our best revisions into the beta without affecting, uh, without, oh, oh, can be rated without affecting the community. We've made a number of changes and tweaks, mainly providing him to main, out of a mighty gem, dumbbells. Okay, cool. All right, hidden content. New features, recipes. Can now be added to favorites. Recipes can be pinned. Okay, search. Oh, cool. There's a text search. Expand during the beta. I wonder how that's going to be for all my console friends out there. I guess like we were used to typing through that, but that's kind of cool. The HUD size can be changed. Ooh. Separately scaled from the um, recipe. That's cool. The size of the crafting menu can be different from the size of your HUD. I like my HUD to be really big so you guys can see it. Uh, the mods are added to the recipes and any filtering group new API exists automatically have recipes added to the modded item filter. Ooh, cool. Okay. Cool. Works in progress. Searching for text may drop frame rate. That's okay when using menu recipes, keywords when searching, pinned items uh, have Recipes maybe pop up. Okay. Controller support. You can navigate the menu. Open the recipes not currently supported. Will be done. Okay. With controller support. Mod support. Adding new filters. Blueprints. Wait. Blueprints dropped by tumbleweeds do not work. Ooh. Man. Okay. It's only. We're in beta. It's okay. <laughs> I'll live. Enabling free crafting um, of the statues and that potion. Okay. Other crafting changes. Wax, paper, beeswax have been moved to science too. Cool. So it looks like a lot of the stuff is just, they moved a whole bunch of stuff around. That's not a big deal. Wolfgang changes. Whoa, that's a lot. I know big ones added marble dumbbell. We saw that in one of the last videos um, or the last announcements. There was a picture basically. These are very heavy, but effective. Um, more effective than and durable than the golden dumbbells. Cool. Improved efficiency, durability. Cost of dumbbells. Now you can right-click Wolfgang. Starts stop lifting dumbbells. Mighty Wolfgang performs melee attacks, which is awesome. Adjusted durability. They changed some of his 
buffs and stuff. That's all good stuff. Uh, miscellaneous changes. An Ancient Guardian changed. The fight is now different. It's going to be a different boss fight. Deer Clops attacks area more accurately affects the effects. Okay, the FX. Okay. Tips and lore have been added to the loading screens, which we've already seen. It's really cool. Feel free to suggest your ideas and tips for new lore themes. Nice. You can now hold down the mouse button to harvest nearby items and attack enemies. Oh, that's awesome. I actually use console controls to attack enemies um, by hitting F. So if I can just hold down, that's even better on my mouse clicker. Roads can now be disabled in the world gen settings on or off. We are going to check that out. Uh, repair value of logs from eight of the board value uh, to a quarter. This improves repairing logs, driftwood, and living logs. Nice. Double cookie cutter drop rate and multiple events. I heard this from Griever. So multiple world events, Winter's Feast, Year of the Catcoon, Midnight Summers, Vesper, and so on can now be enabled at the same time. Uh, so you can have all of the events going in your world settings at the same time, which is frickin' awesome. And then bug fixes, they fixed the bug that was causing bee boxes to not grow honey. Uh, not grow honey when unloaded if they were unloaded during the winter. That's cool. You are supposed to get honey during the winter. Pretty rad. Uh, so this is our quality of life. I'm excited for it. Um, so let's go check it out. All right. So I'm going to turn back on my game volume because I turned that off. All right. Post a game. Social. We're going to do just local only. We'll keep it on survival. All right. So our settings, this is cool. You can do all of your events all right here. How freaking rad is that? I like that they used icons from the events too. That's kind of cool. Did any other settings change? We're still turning these off. <laughs> Doesn't, no, looks like everything else is the same. World gen, roads, none. That's awesome. Okay, and we're going to go spawn area plus just so I can get some stuff to start. Anything else change? Nope. Go to the caves. Nothing changed there. I don't think. Yeah. Nothing changed there. Okay. You know, I'm kind of surprised they don't have Ancient Guardian as one of the giants that you can... I guess you can't spawn more. You can only spawn the one. So that's fair. All right. I am going to turn on... Looks like there are already some updates. Know that when you're using mods... I'm turning on too many items, which I'll link in the description below. So if you guys want to use this one, this is a great mod. Um, it makes it so you can have everything. But let's get started. Oh, this is exciting. They say the Shadow Queen herself comes at the night to snatch up every fool, anyone foolish enough to wander in the dark. That's awesome. I like that. I and it's I haven't seen a repeat of any of them yet, so. All right, for those of you who don't know, this is plus mode, uh, which is something you can do right from the settings of the game. Once I got past day 100, I started turning plus mode on. It just helps speed you up at the beginning. You get three chests. One's filled with food, one's filled with basic stuff, one's filled with equipment. So, 
Okay, game is paused, new crafting menu. All right, dang, this is so cool. Okay, so what I can build, of course, is already out. We can get rid of our quick tab. Oh, that's so cool. All right, you know what? I do want to build that, though. Build that right there. Oh, now I have the science. And now I have new things. All right, so this is your like HUD, and you've got nine slots here. So what are some things that I always need? I always need a torch. Click it. Click it again, and then it'll go there. Click. Click over here. I always need fire <laughs> for obvious reasons. Science. Oh, nice. I can. If you're somebody that likes to constantly break things down, you can add that. If you need armor and a helmet, I think I'm just going to set my HUD up now, even though I have them locked still. Let's make a backpack. Do I have to click down here? Nope. You can double click and then it'll turn on the backpack. That unpauses, it looks like. Ooh. Hold on. Okay, cool. You can't... Oh, thank gosh. I was wondering about that. I was wondering if you could still pre-build. Because um, I'm a huge fan of rebuilding. Okay, so let's keep checking this out. I like all the icons, too. Character items. Nice. Okay, so all my stuff. Tools. I like this. You can easily scroll. Light sources. Prototypes. Wait. Light sources, prototypes, and stations. So they added... I think they said terra firma was going to be in here. Find materials, weapons, armor, clothing. Oh, wow. Healing. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Okay, so they've got the tent and the daybed in healing, which is good. Your shadow stuff, your decorations, structures. Nice. They have things double listed. I actually really like that. Storage. Cooking. Oh, cool. Gardening. Oh, see, this is food and gathering. Fishing. Nice. Seafaring. Buffalo riding. Winter items. Tent listed again. And summer items. Tent listed again. And is the daybed in here? Oh, no daybed. Come on, Clay. That's a summer item for sure, right? All right, that's a missed opportunity. I love that the tent is listed in multiple places, though, because I'm somebody who loves using the tent. Rain gear. Oh, that's cool. Why's the moon dial under? Well, I guess mm, I have to use ice to make it, but it's not really rain gear. And then everything. <laughs> okay. So... And I know also you can click on something. I'm going to favorite the ham bat. Don't tell E. Favorite the miner's hat. Favorite the torch. What else should I favorite? What are some things that I like to use? Oh. Once you pick your favorites, just grab a couple more. Let's grab honey poultice. Love those. Football helm. So once you've favorited things, you can just go up here. Boom, you got your favorite tab. In your tools tab also, you can sort by default or craftable. So all the things that I can craft are up top. I just don't have the items for these. That's why they're not highlighted. And then alphabetical. Oh, that's really nice. All right, and they said that we can change the HUD size. So let's actually check that out. So let's go settings. So currently my HUD, which is this one up in the top right hand corner, is set to five. Typically when I'm playing, I go to 10. Let's see what the menu HUD looks like at 10. Accept exchanges. Oh yeah. 
gosh, see, I actually kind of like this because for you on the screen, I think, especially when I'm live on Twitch, that's going to be an easier look for you um, to actually see what I'm building. So I think that that's really cool. And I like that this is really easy to, I don't know. I hope that they color these in. I like that they're kind of just, they're almost like attributes on a geocache or, you know, a map or something. But I kind of wish that they would color these in. Or maybe even, yeah, I think it'd be nice if they colored them in. Like if, if this was red, like this. I don't know. This is cool. All right. What's something else? I need to favorite something else. Oh, I had a hand bath, but let's. Let's wear weapons. Weapons, two swords. Let's favorite that. Just to get rid of your favorites, you just hit the X. Cool. All right, for now, I am going to use fear. Run away. Hmm. All right, I gotta figure out what key. I want to change this key. Let's settings, controls. You should be able to change that, I would think. Open crafting cap locks. Oh, how cool is that? Okay. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, that's really cool. It's just like right there. All right. Now, I turned on no map. So this is too many items. This is where I get the heads up display. So for all of you that are going to ask in the comments, I'm going to click show full map. I'm going to click X. I'm going to watch this butterfly fly in the same spot in the top left there for a couple of seconds. Once he moves... Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Sometimes too many items when you turn on the full map. Wow. Uh, it takes a second. This map has no roads. How cool is that? That's really going to cut down. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I I enjoy roads, but maybe this will force me to mega base. I got triple Mac desk. Uh because then I can plan out my own roads. But I know for a lot of people they have wanted the roads to be gone just for the sole fact that they mega base and they do all the the things that they want. So let's open creative. Alright. So I just turned on creative mode, so now I should have access to everything. And I do. All right. So does everything just open, or is there anything new? It looks like all the items are open. Oh, character items. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So I can make all. This will be really. Oh, this will be really nice. Oh yeah. Let's. Oh yes. Oh, favorite that. Get that spear. Oh, I wonder if you can set these to one through six or one through nine. Ooh, nine's kind of far to move away there. Let's see. Controls. Inventory one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow, really? Hold on, is it already set? Oh, do I need? No. Okay. That's cool. I was just holding down the mouse and it just goes after it. That's kind of cool. I do like the fact, I mean, in too many items, I can just hit T and then go through and find whatever items, you know, I want through this. But I like the fact that once you open up crafting, you can, yeah, you can build everything. All the pellets, all the gym stuff. Oh, wow. Can I? You can build. Oh, see, this is 
that's kind of cool. You can build catapults. So like when I'm messing around, oh wow, I can build Wes's stuff. <gasps> Alarming clock. That's really cool. That's really, really neat. You get access to all of them. Tools, everything else looks like it stays the same. You just get access to everything when you turn on full crafting. Yeah, okay, so the terra firma does pop in there. Oh, and then the cooking stuff and your seasonal events pop in there too. That's pretty rad. What the heck is that? Okay. Oh, I'm in everything. Rain gear. Very cool, Clay. Nice job. Yeah, I actually, like, I don't mind this. I'm happy that it's paused. I understand. I like that I can hit cap locks and immediately just go. All right, I know that you did say something about deer clops, so let's... Let's see spawn a... Uh, gosh, I don't do this enough. Your clops, and then nope. Yeah, I really don't do this enough. One more try. E underscore spawn. Use your clops. There he is. What's up, my dude? Oh, cool. Wow. Okay, hold on. We're gonna turn off graphics. Screen shake. Yeah. You wanna turn off screen shake, distortion, bloom, even. You can turn screen flashes to dim, dimmest. You can get rid of canopy shadows. If you're running into lag issues, this is a really good one. We're just gonna hit apply. I actually like having shadows. That one doesn't bug me, but I really like that. Look at the, the ice is like way better. That's cool, it gets really big at the end. Oh, that's awesome. my dude. Go up so I'm not running at an angle. That's awesome. Oh. Ooh, dang. Where's he going? Oh, you're gonna go just kill my science machine. See, I would use the roads for battles like this, so I don't know. I'm happy for all the people that mega base and for the people that like to do artwork. I think that that is definitely like a good reason to turn off your roads, but I personally don't know if I will be turning them off. But for all those, okay, is it directional now? No, it's not. Oh gosh. Wigford helmet for the. All right, you know what? I should have made. Where is healing? <laughs> Another fun thing with too many items is. Oh, you can just heal yourself if you pay attention. But hey, that's okay. We were just checking things out. All right. In your mind already. Oh, darn. That's really cool. Yeah, I like all these updates. That is not bad at all. Hold left control mouse button to use lock on items. Okay. All right, let's just do a rando and see. <laughs> of course I'm work. That's awesome. That is, that is just. 
that that made that makes my day i think that that is probably a good thing to maybe end on uh i was gonna maybe go down uh i know that the boss fight downstairs is different too many items did turn off all right when i died so that hasn't changed but this is cool i really enjoy the new hud i like that compass points north i think it'll be nice if they actually put in like some more fun little things here like maybe they could put quotes down here this feels like empty space to me um i do like the hud yeah i like the quick tabs i want to see if i can get these to be like one two three four five six i can probably what would they call that i i will figure that out but no this is great so far uh it doesn't look did they change anything else load tips you can turn that on and off did they change anything else in here no doesn't look like it inventory one well i hope yeah, see, it would be like favorited or something like that. So I hope that they add that because I would love to like, even if I just had these four and could just click quickly hit one, two, three, four. I think that, that would be really nice. And maybe that is coming. And because right now it's reading this inventory slot as one, as two, as three, as four, which is great. Mm, I don't know. Maybe we don't change that, because I know a lot of people will do this. Show ya. I don't know. I don't know how many people actually still do that, to be completely honest. Let's see. So if you're running along, you can hit one. Boom, you have your spear, your axe, your shovel. That's your one, two, three. But I... Honestly, I don't... I don't set it up that way. When I'm setting up mine I typically I have my backpack I'll put all my little belongings down here and then I typically actually have my weapons and stuff over here so personally I would prefer if I could set these as one two three four because so if I quickly needed a torch if I quickly needed campfire i'd be able to just click it and then boom it's down so i don't know but it's gonna take me some time playing around with this and uh we'll see but yeah i don't know i'm excited i think that i i think that this is a beautiful change and i actually really enjoy um even with everything this isn't too busy and there's not too many things all of this stuff oh yeah cool makes sense so storage obviously that was one thing i always oh, I hated there's certain items that you always have in the wrong tab because you're like ah oh, would it be there but i like that you know they all make sense so like if it's summer okay these are all the things that are going to help cool me down you know their hats their coats dapper vests all sorts of fun stuff winter items all the things that are going to keep me warm rain gear all clothing yeah i i really like this setup this is good. Oh, cool. You guys, that's going to be it for today. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick view and my thoughts. But yeah, I think this is going to be fantastic. Uh, the no roads is going to be different, but it's going to be really great for some of those pretty mega bases. I know you guys have been asking for that. I don't know if you'll be able to retrofit your old mega base, but hey, it's time to start a new one. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Bye, guys.